Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In today's session, we will be learning how to compare two different columns in Excel. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. So if you're a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now, comparing two different columns or multiple columns happens to be an important job when you're working in data analytics as you have to come up with some decisive decisions based on the data. Now, if you had to do it manually, then you might end up taking hours or even days based on the data set you're working with. But if I say that you can do it within minutes, then it would be interesting to work with, right? Now, we'll be doing the same. Now, we'll work on our sample data set right on my screen. So here, we have column 1 and column 2. Now our job is to compare the column 1 and column 2 and come up with the result. Now the first and the simplest way to do it is use the built-in conditional formatting which comes with Excel by default. Now all you have to do is select all the data and navigate to home and in the home go to styles group and select conditional formatting. And in conditional formatting you can see highlight cells. So in that you can use duplicate values. When you click on duplicate values, a small pop-up window will come on your screen. And here you have an option of choosing whether duplicate or unique. So duplicate means you're comparing the cells and you can see there are some duplicate cells which are present in column one are also present in column two. Now you can also check how to, uh, you know, find out the unique values which are only present in column one, but not in column two. So you can just press unique and there you go you can find it now you can also try to you know change the color by filling with green for the unique columns and duplicate cells with color red now this was the first method and you can also work out some different ones like uh, you can just directly uh, press equal to and select the cell and equals to and the next cell press enter and if there is a match, it will give you true. If there is no match, then it will give you false. Now you can drag it down and see which all are matching and which all are not. Now you can also make some minute modifications to this. So uh, if in case you didn't find the data, then you can say not found. So for that, uh, you can try if and inside brackets. And then you can give the value as not found. If true, it's found. First, you have to give the true values. So for true, you can write it as found. And in case if it's not found, then you can write it down as not found. There you go. Close the bracket, press enter. And there you go. If there is a perfect match, you will have found. And if there is no match, then you'll get not found. Now, so far we have discussed uh, comparing two cells using conditional formatting and also by using equals to operator and trying to uh, add some tweaks to the equals to operator by involving with if operator. And uh, apart from those, we also have another way to compare two columns in Excel. So uh, another way is using the lookup functions. So we'll use a simple VLOOKUP function to compare both the cells. So for that, let's type in equals to we look up type space and uh, select the cell you want to check for and then the range of elements you want to uh, compare and then i'll press f4 to log them now uh, you want the data from column one and now you want the exact match so zero press enter so there you go. So the elements which are present in column 1 and column 2 are being displayed here. So but in case if the elements are not found, you'll get an error. So let's look at that. Simply drag the formula to all the cells and there you go. So the elements which are matching will give you the proper result. But the ones which are not matching will give you not applicable or error message. This can be fixed. We can make some minor tweaks to the same formula. So uh, we can add if error column 
comma simply write in as not found and close the bracket so that should do so we have closed the bracket and press enter there you go now simply drag this and soon you can see the data which is having no match is shown as not found now uh, there is another possibility okay let's get back to another different sheet so this should work so uh, we, we already have the formula so let's erase that first I'll erase the whole data and even this one yeah now we have the clear column for so here you can see we have Ford India and here you can see we have just Ford and similarly here you have Mahendra and Mahendra and here you have Mahendra right so in some situations you might have to compare two different columns but the names might be a little different right so for example uh, if you're working with Oracle and if you're working with Oracle America and you have in the first case as Oracle and in the second column as Oracle America then those are one and the same but you have some minor text changes right just like here you have Ford India and here you have Ford so what if you had such kind of issues so you can also make some minor tweaks to it so using the same lookup formula you can add equals to VLOOKUP and also the comparison cell which is this one and you're not you're not stopping there you're trying to add the wild card here so the wild card is asterisk which means if there is anything like uh, if you get the comparison between the first cell and the second cell which matches and if there is anything extra rather than the actual cell please try to consider it so that's what we're going to do so after entering entering the wild card symbol you'll select the range of columns which you have to uh, you know fetch the data from and then try to fix them using function key f4 you're looking from the column number one and then you're finding the exact match now you can close it and enter now let's try to drag it there you go so you have the data Mahindra and Mahindra Hyundai India Honda India so that's how you try to use uh, comparing cells in Excel and if you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session or if you need the data set that we have used in this session then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be more than happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest. Until next time, thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.